What is the crack lads and welcome back to another tutorial video. So this one is fairly self-explanatory but it is for a lot of new guys that are messaging and if you guys are having trouble with the international cup and actually you know getting a, a team ready for it that can compete and obviously meets all the event conditions as well so this is kind of new and these are new events that have started with v2.2 so if you are a newcomer obviously this will help you out if you are still struggling this will answer all your questions as well because look the ui and the explanation of a lot of the stuff in efootball leaves a lot to be desired um but i love this idea man i think this is this is kind of the future of where it needs to go you know just we just need more you know we need more stuff like this which i think will come but anyway right you can access this through the events tab in dream team so obviously you will be going here to the main menu you'll be going to dream team match you'll be going into events and then apologies lads for taking this super super slow but if it is for newcomers watching this as well and then you are going into international cup under 2100 so this under 2100 seems to be confusing a couple of people right um so what it is right is you will see here that there's a couple of things that we need to do before we're actually able to play the game right and play matches and it's quite easy to actually you know score a goal you should be able to score a goal um you know you can keep repeating it as long as as much as you want but there are a couple of things that you need to you need to kind of satisfy here before um you will be able to access this you will it will say here if i try going to a match here it says you need to fulfill this condition to play a match register a minimum of 18 players whose nationality is belgium base strength 2100 or lower right so when we go into the actual information tab here this tells you exactly what you need to do so you need to have a squad of 18 players with the same nationality what the nationality needs to be one nationality it can't be a mixture i know i did a video a couple of days ago where i uh mixed up my words it needs to be one nationality so it needs to be 18 welsh players 18 players from england 18 players from portugal whichever nation or team you choose to pick uh you basically need to do this here right so what you need to do is get 18 players from the same nationality and then fill your team with it and then that's it now how you do this is very simple it's not your actual base team that you do in the options tab you basically press settings and you go down to this chosen team now at the moment we have belgium here right so obviously if we go into belgium we are going to be picking a french squad just for this tutorial and this this is the squad that we will be rocking here something similar to this we have a couple of players on the bench and we need to mess around with the squad a little bit uh, but this is effectively it right so it's going to be all french players okay so straight away we see the belgian flag we need to change that we need to go down press square go to belgium and then we need to change that to france so we need to pick whatever team you want to have your players as um you can go to france now an easy way to do this right lads is if you go back out here and you want to check your players very very quickly and thanks to uh somebody in on the youtube comments for actually reminding me of doing this but this is a really cool tip right if you want to see what squad instead of having to buy a load of players you can literally go into your my team go into your players and then you could go to, to square go to filters and then you can filter it by nationality so for me here like let's just say i wanted to have a german squad right i'm gonna have a look here and see right okay i've got 44 german players or sorry i'm, I'm wrong i have germany here so let's just say i want to go germany here i have 26 german players that i can pick and most of them are highly rated so i'm going to struggle i'm going to have to buy a lot of players to get them in um you know so obviously that's going to cost me a lot of gp but if you want to just check and say let's see england see how many players i have from england that might be an option for me okay i've got 21 players but again i've got a similar issue where i've got a couple of legends i'm going to have to buy pretty much a full squad because the rest of the players are not going to be enough and this this would bring up my my team rating right so you can just check whatever squad that you have there basically and see whichever one that you want to have and then for me i think if i choose france uh i'm going to have a lot of pick with france right where are they where are friends there we go right so i'm going to have about 40 plus players here so ranging from Vieira, who's 95 overall all the way down to benzema's 85 all the way to a couple of white balls here that i have are really low rated players that i would have spun right uh so yeah straight away here i can see that i've got the nucleus of a very strong side that are all going to be the same na uh, nationality so that's one quick way to check so we're going to just jump back in here to dream team now go back into the events and we're going to show you what else to check out here so once you're back in this 
what we're going to do is set our base team. Once you've decided what your base team is going to be, as we just did there, we're going to press square. We're going to go in here and we're going to choose whichever base team that we want it to be. So if you're using French players, choose France. If you're using English players, choose England, whatever you want to do yourself. Once we've that done, we are going to see here now that our conditions are met. Now that is because we have got the team strength, right? If we were to put in, uh, let me see, if we were to put in Vieira in here, okay? Vieira is going to be French, yes, but he's going to take the base strength of our team up over that 2100. You can see there in the top right-hand corner of the formation that we have, the base strength has changed to 2119. When we go back out here now and this loads, it'll say that the conditions are not met, right? Similarly, if we put Vieira back out and we put in a player uh, that takes us back under the team strength, okay, and this is what's confusing people. Say we put in Modric there. We'll get a little tick beside the base strength to say that we have obviously got the team strength right. Everything is perfect. No, because Modric is not French. He doesn't have French nationality. He doesn't. He's not on the French squad. So a quick way of looking at this is if you press square twice, and then a third time, you will see a little tick beside the player. Now, this is obviously a very, very easy way of seeing it. So we can see, right, okay, straight away, maybe our reserves. Uh, we can, you know, put whoever we want. You can sort your reserves however way that you want here with the overall rating. We've got a couple of white balls here. We've got a couple of other players here. We've got Sharky on the bench. We've got Suko on the bench, Suke, whatever his name is. So we can mix and match here a little bit. We've got a couple of balls there that we want to do. And obviously people are going to abuse this, you know, but I try, I'm trying not to abuse it. I'm going to try and buy a couple of players if I need to, if I don't have enough rating or I have too high of a rating. Ariola is in there. We already have him. Uh, let me see. Mukilele, we have this guy as well. So we can put him in for Modric. Now, we're still going to have too high of a team strength there. So obviously, that's with even like two 53 rated players and a 51 rated player. So basically, we just need to keep going until we can swap our team around to get, you know, players in, whether that's by buying them in the GP, uh, with GP or whatever. Um or whatever way we want to do it. Obviously, Kempembe is probably bringing up our rating quite highly there. Um, so we can keep him out of the squad. Uh, yeah, we can do that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, lads. It's very, very simple. Once you have the squad done, you will be ready to go. You'll be ready to rock and roll. Um, and it's quite easy to do, right? So yeah, that's all you have to do. And as I said, I could bring in this white ball and he's going to bring it down. Uh, but once you have your squad ready to go, right? And obviously, I'm not going to use this squad because I need to upgrade my DMF there. Um, even if I bring in, you know, like somebody that's fairly average here uh, or whatever. So that's pretty much how you do it, lads. As I said, I still need to work on my squad. But you can see there that we have got the base strength. We have got ticks beside all our players. They're all French. Everything is perfect. We go back out. We'll have a tick there and it'll have conditions met. So that is it very simply, lads. Uh, yeah, so if you are struggling with that, make sure to follow this guide and I'll be back talking to you later. Peace.